Hello everyone and in this lesson we're going to take a look at a very small new feature that got added in Houdini 20 which is that you can now use attributes to modify the carve node. So the way it works is very simple and in the end we'll create something like this. So this is not audio driven but just if you want to create like a random display. Okay. But if you've seen my previous lesson, which was like the audio visualizer, then you can try and apply that to this. Okay, so uh, what we can do is, I'm just going to take a line. Okay, uh, let's let's make a geometry and let's call this as scarf. And I can take a line node. And the way it works is really simple. Like if I, if I take a car node, so you'll see that you have a new option here at the end, which is constant attribute or scale. So uh, constant is the standard method. I'll, I'll go to second you instead of first you. So constant will do this and attribute will look for an attribute and then va scale will sort of multiply the attribute with the, with the actual value. So the way it works is just put a float node in the middle or you can take an attribute, uh, you can take a wrangle node or whatever. So I'll just take a float node and uh, the only rule is that this works at primitive level. So the entire line gets like a single value. Okay. So what we'll do is just call it anything. We'll just call it uh, carve. So it's easy to remember and I'll set this to primitive and that's pretty much it. I'll set this to set always. And if I come to carve and I'll do attribute and you just type in the name of the attribute and there you go. So right now the value is zero. So if I come in here and you increase it, so it won't go over one because the values are zero to one, but there you go. So now you can carve it. So then the rest of it becomes interesting. So if I take like a copy transform and I can just, you know, take this and maybe like make a whole bunch of copies of this, or let's give it like a little bit of distance. So let's say if we do this, and uh, we come into attribute and we can visualize this. So I can visualize the carve node. Okay. So what I can do is just come in here. And if I change this to uh, from constant, I can change it to random. Okay, so there you go. So you get like, you know, random values. Let me make the background dark. Or the simplest thing is you can change it to noise. And then the noise value can be like, we can make it, let's say 0.5 and I can take the animation and turn it on. And if I press play, that's what you get. You get like a fake, you know, like an audio display. Uh, we can sort of, we can, let's say we come into fractal and we can increase the roughness. So it gives you like a little more, you know, stuff in there. And then, uh, so if you've seen the audio node, what you can do is you can uh, take a straight line and then apply some attribute to that. So like what I can do is I can take a line here like that. Okay, like I'll push it in the X direction. And let's keep it long. And I can do a copy to points. Okay, so you'll get this. And we'll generate an attribute here. Okay, so I'll just take like a float value. And we'll, uh, we'll create like a point attribute for now. I'll call this scarf. And I'll set this to noise. Okay, so we get this. So what's happened is like this has each point has a value and that got transferred to the lines. And then uh, we will have to take this scarf attribute and promote it to primitive. So just take a promote node. So take an attribute promote. And we can promote this from point to primitive. There you go. And then the rest of it is the same. If I just plug it in here and I look at that, see, there you go. Okay. So we can just take this and I can uh, turn on animate and we'll increase the fractal a little bit, make it like 0 0.6. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We need to get rid of this. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. That, that's why nothing was happening. Okay, so now how do we convert that to our final result, which was this. So uh, what we can do is, uh, I can just take a, I can take a resample node. Okay, so I'll just take a resample node here. 
and then I can take another line which will be uh, horizontal okay so this should be in the X as well but I want it in the middle so just take a size node yeah there are like kids playing downstairs so you can probably hear them screaming I'll make it 0 0.1 and I can do copy to points and so these will get copied here and if I play it's it looks like this it's not exactly what we want what we want so what generally happens when you look at these displays on an actual thing is that uh, like it's not it's not a fluid display it's actually like lighting up each bar so there is a fixed number of bars like you know vertical and horizontal and as the display sort of goes through it each bar kind of lights up so you have like a fixed amount so that's what it needs to look like this looks like it's sort of scaling up and down you know which is not really what you want so the the way to correct that uh, we'll take a look before I but first I'll just finish the look of this so what we can do is I can just take a sweep node and then set this to ribbon and I'll make it small and we need to rotate it uh, 90 degrees so there you go and we can also maybe uh, you know make it a little smaller but we can also uh, do a bevel and just sort of round it off a bit so I can set this to points and yeah I think this is fine so there you go so this looks nice and let's also do one more thing which is over here in this line let's get rid of that with this line I want to do a resample I just want to generate the curve view so uh, what the curve view should do is it should sort of help me kind of color the whole thing so if I just take like I'm just going to come in here let's get rid of uh, that and then I can just take a color node so the reason why I'm doing the resample here and the curve view here is because you want it on the whole line you don't want it after the curve okay then the colors won't really match okay so just take the color value here and I can do ramp from attribute and curve view and there you go okay and I can set this to uh, let's do two tone yeah see so they're all like at the same value if the curve view was generated here then see those values sort of start to vary because now it's calculating based on the length of the the carved line which is not what we want okay so we want it to calculate it like at the top itself and so this should give me you know all of that but now we just need to f do the final thing which is to make sure that it doesn't look like it's scaling up or down so the it's very simple just come to the resample node and make sure you turn off this button which says even last length segment and that's it so now you can see like it doesn't you know like the points don't move up like it removes the last point altogether okay so you just get like this fixed thing that goes through it and then we can kind of adjust it a bit more but it will always look nice okay so I can just come into this color and maybe you know like just spread it out a bit and yeah there you go so you can use like the card node to do you know random stuff like this now yeah so as I said like in the previous lesson we had seen how to do like the audio visualizer so all you have to do once you've done like the chop stuff you just bring in like a channel node here and instead of uh, like using the attribute float you bring in like an attribute from uh, the audio track and then you promote that to primitive and you know it'll do the same thing okay so you'll get the same result except that it'll be running on an actual audio track all right so that's pretty much it so this is how you can use attributes to modify the carve node